Hello friends, and welcome to part 18 of our Shadowbringers Let's Play. Last time, we defeated Titania and brought Knight to Ilmeg. Uh, so I'm not sure what is in store for us today. It kind of seems like we concluded everything that we needed to do in Ilmeg. And the only thing I can possibly think of for us to do right now is to either defeat another Light Warden or go find Yustola or both. Because uh, I believe all the Scions have reunited in the first, but we have not reunited with Yustola yet. So let's go talk to Thancred and see what we do next. Thancred wishes to have a word with the Hero of the Hour. Ooh, we get a... We get a, a, a gift that I'm not sure what it is. It's a secret. I knew you could do it, and not only because of your blessing. You have a strength all your own, and has seen us through many a trial. With the warden defeated, I believe our work here is done. It is time we are going together, needless to say. To the bitter end, the fate of our two worlds being at stake and all that. Now then, I suggest we hurry back to the Crystarium. Much and more may have happened while we were frolicking with the Fey folk. That Ranjit elected to pursue us makes me hopeful the city was spared Yulmore's attentions, but I would sooner see for myself. Besides, I believe I speak for us all when I say that I've had a belly full of ill meg. Let us away before the fairies think to play with us again. Good plan. Their games are not fun. Alfredo and Alice are both backing up because they got the most of it. All right, let's make sure we zoom out. And I believe we can just travel to the Crystarium. There we go. Alright, Alizai and Alphano, where are you at? Oh, right here. Made them easy to find. Oh, it's raining. I love the sound of rain. So peaceful here. All seems well at the Crystarium. Yes. Yulmore was plainly more concerned with finding us. <laughs> How flattering. Who's this? <gasps> no. He's just prancing around the Crystarium. You certainly took your time. I had half resolved to complete the task myself. And you are... Oh, they don't know who he is. For one to study the annals of Galian history, one would find yonder visage on many a page. Though by rights, its youth should long since have faded. Well, well, we have a historian in our midst. That spares me a lengthy explanation. I am Solus So Scalvus, founding father of the Garlean Empire, and under various guises, the architect of myriad other imperially inclined nations. And what do you want As with us? As for my true identity... I am Emmett Sel, Asia. Again, what do you want with us? Gaia spoke of you, a native of the source. Equal in rank to La Habrea. And you came all this way just to introduce yourself to us. Behold the sky, restored to its former glory. Have you ever seen a more affecting spectacle? That's not what they want, though. Don't the Asians want all the worlds to come back together? Which only happens if this one's oh, in Alkai Light. Oh, it is truly, deeply... infuriating. 
Do you have any idea how much you have delayed the rejoining? Yes. I mean, that's our plan, right? Following the flood, the first had been listing ever further towards the light, towards stasis. The end was in sight. And we stopped it. I mean, that's what we do. I don't see the problem here. Enter man and his indomitable spirit. He would haul the world back from the brink. And adding his lump and weight to the power of growth, he duly tipped the scales, if only by a fraction. Yet a fraction was enough to spoil the perfect imbalance needed to bring about a rejoining! Ah, had mankind continued to live in idleness under Vorthry's rule, all the conditions would have been met. What's well, a good thing that Vothry's, you know, not the main ruler of this world, necessarily. But you had to come and ruin it all! Thanks to your meddling, light supremacy is in doubt, and our painstakingly laid plans are in tatters! So, I'm, I'm curious, are you just gonna yell at us about this? <laughs> Emmett, or, or are you gonna do something? Are we gonna fight in the middle of the Crystarium? Well, I should begin by thanking you for confirming Uriange's theories on the inner workings of the Calamity. He will be most pleased. As for what happens next, might I suggest you admit defeat and walk away? Happy to let me go, are you? Because the murderous glint in your eye suggests otherwise. Indeed, it is enough to make me think better of confronting you alone. Uh-oh. Are there other Asians here? Look, it did cross my mind to simply side with Vorthry and kill you all. Yeah, why didn't you? But that's no different from what La Habrec did. And we all know how well that ended for him. And so, while it is liable to be troublesome, I have settled upon a different approach. Are we teaming up with Asians? I feel like this should be, like, more malicious <laughs> towards each other. I don't know if I like where this is going. Cooperation. What? What do we possibly agree on, Emmett? I will not raise a hand to hinder your hunt for the Light Wardens. If you desire it, I will even lend you my knowledge and strength. At what cost, though? Yeah, everybody's like, uh... Since what the heck? immemorial. You and yours have labored to rejoin the 13 shards at the cost of countless lives. Do you expect us to believe that your objective has suddenly changed? Mm-hmm. Nay, our objective is the same as it ever was. Though I dare say, you do not know our motive. What is it beyond chaos? A war waged without knowledge of the enemy is no war. It is mere bloodletting. Just once, might we not seek to find common ground? What do we have in common, though? But for good or ill, I am immortal. Provided I have the inclination, I can always begin anew, scheme and conspire to my heart's content. But this time I thought that I might instead try to see eye to eye. To understand what drives the hero of the source. To determine if our goals are truly incompatible. Okay, so we want life. They want destruction. How are these compatible? So come. Shed your preconceptions. See beyond the unscrupulous villains you take us for. When all is said and done, we may find ourselves pleasantly surprised. The proud discoverers of a path of cooperation rather than opposition. Think of it. I am thinking of it, but I'm just I'm very confused. Yeah, Ariange is having none of this. Thou hast delivered thy proposal, and we would not dismiss it outright. If I may offer thee counsel, however, 
To make thy case via an illusion reflecteth oh. only upon thy sincerity. Okay. My apologies. You will forgive me if I'm not entirely at ease in the presence of a famed Asian Slayer. I felt it only prudent to take precautions. Nonetheless, your counsel is duly noted. I take my leave, friends. Rest assured, we shall meet again soon. Hmm. I wish you told us his plan. It's like, can we cooperate if we have no idea what we're cooperating about? Well, that... That was something. At least we know why Emmett Sal is here, but... I feel like I need more information. Cooperation? He can't be serious, can he? Well, we've certainly been given much to ponder, but first things first, we should report to the Exarch. You can run along, Chacha. We're perfectly capable of handling this little task. Well, what are we supposed to do then? In light of your recent exertions, I'd say you've earned a rest. Ooh, are we gonna go talk to Arbert? I love how I get so excited by the inn, because I'm like, this is our ghost time. Go on, take yourself off to bed. We'll see you later, refreshed and ready for more. All right, now let's see the pendants. Where are we at? Ah, welcome back, miss. We've been expecting you. You will find refreshments laid out in your quarters. We hope they are to your liking. Will you be retiring now? Yes. Very good, miss. I bid you a pleasant evening. Oh, we get a sandwich basket. Interesting. I guess it's just food. There's our sandwiches. I love how spacious these rooms are. I mean, it might just be because she's so small. I hope the past few days have not been overly taxing. Pray take your rest and recover. Oh, that's very nice of them. From the Exarch, is it? Uh, with that mirror of his, he can watch your every move, you know? You probably think you're talking to yourself. Wait, has the Exarch been watching us this whole time? Still, he's keeping you well fed. Mm hmm. Judging by his people's faith in him, he seems to be a decent sort. But so much about him remains shrouded in mystery. Like, what was he doing back in my day? There was no such person when I was around. That's curious. A lot's happened since the flood, though. Since I was set adrift. I know a little more than you do of this city's history in the Exarch's past. Wait, it has been something like a hundred years, though, hasn't it? Since the flood, so maybe it's not that surprising that, that the Exarch isn't known to Ardbert. Not that it matters. It's Emmett's Selk we should be concerned about. Mm-hmm. When our world was about to be consumed by light, the Asian in white appeared before us. He said that the only way for us to live on was to bring about the rejoining. Oh. So he brought this upon them. Death 
desperate as we were. We heeded his words, not realizing that the flood was of the Asian's own making. I mean, it's okay. I feel like the Asians are pretty crafty. Probably very good they at the They cannot conning. be trusted. None of them. Oh, we know that. But Emmett Selk had one thing right. One should not fight blindly. That's what we did. And it cost us everything we held dear. Uh... Tell me about Sato. Yeah, I want to hear about your Amaro. Bon? What about Seto? What is that to say? <sighs> All right. He's done some growing. <laughs> when we were traveling together, he was nowhere near as big. And he obviously couldn't speak. I had no idea how much that medallion meant to him. What about you, anyway? You must have a friend like Seto. Chocobo, perhaps? Come on, you tell me something for a change. Um, I don't think we're that bonded to our Chocobo. We like them. But they can't talk, so... That bed looks ridiculously large. Do we eat all the sandwiches? That's a lot of sandwiches for a little Lala. All right, let's go talk to the manager of the sweets. The manager of sweets is in a cheerful mood. Ooh, we're gonna get clothes. Good evening to you, miss. I do hope you are well rested. The exarch and your companions are presently gathered in the ocular. He asks that you convene with them at your earliest convenience. All right, so we need to go to the docile gate. Excuse me. You have business? Indeed. It's so blue in here. But it's like a warm blue. Everything seems very serious. I mean, we are talking about Asians, but like extra serious. Oh, there you are. You're just in time to welcome our guest. Who's that? Oh, he's here. Please. Did I not explicitly tell you that we would be meeting again soon? Yeah, but not this soon. Also, it's interesting that their colors match. Both of their outfits are, like, the same. Lest you forget, I made you a promise. I have no intention of meddling with your mission. I come only to observe. Your Exarch friend in particular has piqued my curiosity. Summoning you all like that. Most impressive. You honestly expect us to believe you've come only to observe? Or that you might deign to lift a finger to aid our cause if called upon? 
Mm-hmm. Like, I feel like the Asians are all about meddling. They are not about the observation. Even if there were a sliver of truth in your words, I would never accept your help. Not in my darkest hour. Not after all the suffering your kind has wrought. So petty. I meant what I said, and I said what I meant. But you didn't say much of anything. Wage your war against the Sin Eaters. Put each and every Light Warden to the sword. Prove yourselves heroes, brave and true, and I will be glad to embrace you as allies. Hmm. Maybe he just wants us to be killed off by these Light Wardens or the Yomorans. Maybe he thinks you just won't reach our goal. Allies worthy of bearing the burden of truth. What? What truth? Surely such a partnership would be preferable to yet another round of fisticuffs. <laughs> fisticuffs is such a silly word. And thus did the olive branch wither and die. Pity. Well, let no man say I did not try, futile as it was. Though I suspect you will seek me out when you grow tired of making the same mistakes. Difficult decisions lie ahead of you. Decisions best made with the benefit of knowledge to which only the Eternal are privy. How do we know you're gonna tell us the truth, though? For now, I shall resume my shadowy vigil. Whatever you choose to do, make sure it's worth watching, would you? What was that all about? A vain attempt to make us doubt our chosen course, most like. As if we'd believe a word that passed his lips. Unless you think there is some truth in what he says. Colonel, perhaps. Not one jot. I don't know. But if he crosses us, I'll make him wish he hadn't. Yeah. I'm at the... I don't know. I'm sure you will. <laughs> but consider for a moment. If he meant simply to lead us astray... He could have done so without revealing himself. At least, not in the manner he did. It goes without saying that an alliance with the Asians is out of the question. But since we have no way of knowing where they might be hiding, it seems only logical to press on with our mission, even if our enemy seems content for it to succeed. Then let us discuss the Sin Eaters. All right. I would begin by thanking you all for your efforts thus far. In striking down the Light Wardens of Lakeland and Ilmeg, you have accomplished more in your short time here than all of our forces managed in the last century. That may be, but the Wardens of Calusia, Amareng, and Raktika remain. Well, let's take them out. Indeed, and their precise whereabouts are as yet unknown. Which is why I propose we divide our forces and conduct a systematic survey of each region. Once we have found our quarry, we may then determine how best to proceed. I'll take our meringue in that case. I know the lie of the land well enough. If there are no objections, I will make for Calusia. I have connections there both in and around Yulmor that may prove useful. Then I would ask that you journey to Raktika. There you will find your stone. Yeah. With her assistance, I doubt the warden will evade your grasp for long. Let's do it. Is Yushtola the conjurer you and Uriyanje used to talk about? That's right. Though we haven't spoken much since she left for the forest. I fear I may be to blame for that. I had every intention of relaying the news of your arrival, but she is disinclined to speak with me. Oh, why is that? What'd you do, Axarch? You have visited her, have you not? Might I trouble you to... It would be no trouble. 
I want to see why Yastola won't talk to the Exarch. I'm very curious about this. My thanks. While you are all out in the field, I shall be here attending to business. I had somewhat fancifully contemplated joining the search myself, but other matters demand my attention. What's that? What's that? A missive from Lord Vorthry invites me to join him in Yulmore to discuss the recent conflict at Leda Lorraine. I feel like if you go there, you're gonna get kidnapped. And? Did he even bother to offer any bait? It's obviously right? a trap. I should be surprised if it were not. Nevertheless, I must seize this opportunity to speak with him, even if only a few words are exchanged. He's very confident. Though my power will be much diminished so far from the tower, it is a risk I am willing to take. Master Alphano, might I impose upon you to accompany me to your war prior to beginning your reconnaissance? But don't they want to kidnap him too? He's a fugitive <laughs> from your war. That's not the best choice, I feel. And also, why, why are the Exarch's powers diminished far from the tower? That's curious. Of course. Then let us make ready. Safe travels to you all. All right, let's go talk to the Exarch. Before you leave, I would make a request of you. There is a church, or rather, the ruins of a church, at Fort Job. Might I ask that you go there before seeking out Yshtola? It was a place where people once gathered to worship the light. Alas, it has long since fallen into disuse. Yet within that hall, there remains a tablet whose writings, I believe, may prove of use to Yshtola. At the very least, such a relic would make a suitable gift for your reunion. A most considerate proposal. Very well. Ere we depart to Rektika, we shall journey into Fort Job that we might secure this relic. I think we have the etherite for that, so let's go. Go take a look. Indeed. All right, we are no longer congested. I don't think I've had that happen yet. So that is interesting. Let's go talk to uh, whoever we need to talk to here. And I imagine we just have to be a higher level, don't we? All right, let's get back to our white mage. Here amidst these ruins, we will find the Church of the First Light, and within that hallowed hall, the tablet we seek. Time is of the essence, my friend. Let us be quick. All right, let's go check out whatever this uh, head piece is. Pixie Cotton Foot of Healing. Oh, that is uh, not for me, I feel. Maybe if it was a different color, maybe. I'd have to see the whole outfit, though. But that is where we will leave it for today. Um, I really enjoyed this. I hope we get to see Ishtola next time, but it's good to know that we are on the way, and I'm curious to see what we pick up for her and why she has not met with the Exarch, but we'll save that for next time. And thank you so much for watching. Uh, I really do appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed this as much as I did. If you did, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and go follow me over on Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram as well. And I will see you next time for more adventures in the first. <laughs>